The full judgment released by the Supreme Court by the justices highlights the importance of timing. Amongst the key issues is the certificate of renunciation. The Supreme Court explained that there was no certificate of renunciation when he contested the election. It held that since citizenship is a matter of law and determined by regulatory mechanisms, it is not a valid legal submission that unilateral statements of renunciation of citizenship of another country be recognized as severance of allegiance from the other country. Now, although James Jachi Kwasing agreed to receiving the certificate of renunciation in November 2020, the court reiterates that the qualification of holding only Ghanaian citizenship must be present at the time of nomination and not any date thereafter. In this case, by 9th October 2020. Now, since the first defendant, James Jachi Kwasing, had not received his certificate of renunciation, then he was not qualified to be a member of parliament at the time he filed his nomination papers and at the time he stood for the elections, plus the time he was declared as elected member of parliament because he owed allegiance to another country as at 9th October 2020, the date when he should have satisfied the qualification criteria. Therefore, without the certificate, he still owed allegiance to Canada when he was contesting. To those whose argument was based on the Electoral Commission admitting him, the court says, upon a true and proper interpretation of Article 94-2A of the Constitution, the decision of the second defendant, the Electoral Commission, to permit the first defendant, James Jachi Kwasing, to contest the parliamentary elections in the Asin North constituency when he had not shown evidence of the cancellation of a citizenship of Canada is an act that is inconsistent with and violates Article 94.2 of the Constitution of Ghana. Now, third, upon a true and proper interpretation of Article 94.2a of the Constitution, the election of the first defendant, James Jachi as a member of parliament for Asin North constituency was unconstitutional. His swearing in was equally declared to be unconstitutional with parliament ordered to expunge his name from the records.